let's deal with the necessary Lua script first. Connect your radio to a PC using a USB cable. Select USB storage mode in the menu of your radio. Copy the pre-downloaded folder containing the Lua script and other necessary files to your radio's SD card. The Lua script will allow you to receive all the telemetry and provide with other necessary functions. We strongly recommend you to not skip this step. Next, short press the menu button to enter the models menu. Then long press page button to get to the page called display. At screen 1, select the script. And in the third column, select the Lua script called YP7 you have just uploaded to your radio. Now, let's assign switches. Press the menu button and turn to the mixes page. In mixes, scroll down to the channel 6. In source, switch it to max. down below in the choose the preferred switch. We like using the left shoulder. Make sure that the switch position is up. The arrow must be pointing upwards. Press the back button and enter channel 7. In channel 7 change the source from max to 2. Lastly, go back to the mixes page again, enter channel 8, and let's change the source from CYC1 to SP. Exit the setup menu, go to the channels monitor, and check if the switches you have just configured are operating as intended. Once Mission Planner is installed, open the application. Use a USB cable to connect the flight controller of your aircraft to the PC. You'll hear the first Windows system sound, and shortly after, another one. Once you've heard the second system sound, click Connect. Navigate to the Initial Setup menu in the upper left corner of the Mission Planner. Then click on Mandatory Hardware drop-down menu and select Radio Calibration. Click Calibrate Radio. Follow the instructions on the pop-up window and try to move the sticks. Make sure you get full travel of the sticks while you're doing the calibration. It is also a good way to check if the assigned switches correspond to the correct commands. If everything is set up properly, click on the Click When Done button. Let's get to the OSD setup. Navigate to Config Tuning and click on the full parameter list submenu. Find parameter called OSD underscore type. Change the value to 1 if you're using an analog video transmission system and 3 if you're using a DJ IHD video transmission system. Once you've done that, write the settings and click OK. Now, let's get to the pre-flight check. First, turn on your radio. Make sure the correct model is selected and wait for the voice prompt from your radio. Plug the battery. Make sure your aircraft is on a flat leveled surface. Move the sticks on the radio and make sure the aircraft responds to the commands properly. Don't forget to switch the flight modes to check if the servos are operating as intended. Wait until the GPS is locked on the satellites. You may find out if that's done by checking the LED light on the back of your aircraft, which should be red. Alternatively, you may hear an audio notification from your radio, informing you that the GPS has been locked. Now, you can arm the aircraft and prepare for the test flight.
During the first flight, it is recommended that the altitude is above 30 meters. The throttle stick must be in the middle position. Flick the switch to change the mode. Do not use the throttle stick during the mode switch. During the mode change, the motor speed will increase significantly, and once the mode change is complete, the remote controller will stabilize the motor speed. The tail motor will stop. The aircraft is now in self-stabilized flight mode. Now, test the return to home mode by pressing the corresponding switch. The aircraft will climb up to 100 meters. Return to the takeoff point and hover over it. Switch to the horizon mode for landing once you're over the landing point at a low altitude. Keep the throttle stick in the middle position and slowly land the aircraft. Congrats, you're breathtaking.